Right. Who do you have for us today, Tim? Yeah, just uh, here to announce the, the signing of uh, Rashante Harris, a uh, big guy from uh, New Hope, Mississippi, a little town of Mississippi that we had on our radar at uh, USC. Uh, we feel like he um, was one of the better available players left in the country late, and uh, I think a guy who's got an opportunity to go on and play at the next level. He's uh, an instinctive rebounder. Uh, he's a guy that can finish around the rim. Uh, he's trying to expand his game to where he can play a little bit uh, further out on the floor. But uh, I think a guy that can impact uh, games for us next season. What about his, what about his great situation with Georgia State? Yeah, yeah. Um, he signed originally with Georgia State, which was some, somewhat of a surprise uh, at that time, given the, the schools that were involved. Uh, did not qualify. Spent a year to prep school and has spent uh, this last uh, season uh, further upgrading his, his academics, and we expect him to be eligible. Uh, talk about uh, what what specifically impressed you, and, and he must have just dominated Mississippi high school basketball. Well, he did, and, and there are a lot of great uh, players in Mississippi. It's arguably the best uh, state in the country next year per capita in terms of talent, and uh, there have always been some really, really good big guys uh, in that state. But uh, uh, he caught our attention in Los Angeles, and it's a long way to that little town in Mississippi, and uh, caught a lot of other people's attention as well. He's, uh, he's a guy who can run, and he's, uh, he's athletic and uh, uh, finishes, uh, takes up a lot of space, uh, can block shots. Uh, his rebounding uh, numbers are what I think will allow him to go on and play beyond this level. I don't know when that will happen, but uh, he's a guy that we're really happy to have. Talk about your philosophy about bringing in a non-predictor. Well, you know, uh, I think everybody's um, having to look at those issues uh, around the country. It's nothing new. Uh, he will not be a non-predictor when he gets here. He'll be a qualifier. He just took a little extra time to get it done. What about uh, uh, your recruiting? Uh, you, you maintain ties to Mississippi? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, uh, I live there in junior high and high school and played a couple of years of college ball there. I have a lot of friends there. Um, I've always felt like uh, that state has produced great, great players. We saw them throughout the NBA this year. Um, we had a player from Mississippi when I was here back in the 80s, Donnell Allen, who, uh, who had a lot of talent. Uh, it's that southern region that uh, has always produced a lot of talent. And, um, uh, you know, I, I uh, relied on a couple of coaches down there who had seen him in the last year or two. We saw him as a junior in high school at USC. Uh, he was a name that uh, I wanted to follow up on when I took this job. Uh, he'll he'll uh, be a four-year player. He'll be a freshman. He'll come in here as an incoming freshman, a little older, just like Taj Gibson was when we had him at USC. Uh, and I think that helps him. He'll he'll be a freshman, but uh, an older freshman and more mature physically uh, than than a lot of the freshmen that he'll be playing against. Do you, do you expect him to? Uh... Well, you know, yeah, you always try to sign, but sign somebody that you feel like uh, is as good or better than what you have. And, and when we lose this group of nine next year, we're going to try to sign guys that are better than what we have. And that's how you keep improving. Um, uh, whether or not he is, I don't know. I was unable to see Rashante in person. I uh, don't know really uh, where his game has gone. Guys either get better or they get worse. But uh, I know at one point um, in his senior year, he was regarded to be the second best center in the country in that in that class. He's two years older. We hope he's even better. Um, I, I do know that uh, uh, the high school tournament he played in down in, uh, in Florida, he had uh, 31 and 21 against Greg Monroe. So uh, Greg Monroe's a guy that will go in the lottery this year. So uh, we hope that uh, he's remembered how to score and rebound in the two years he's been out of basketball.